Mary Stevens Waters was born in Cromwell on November 26, 1868. She was the granddaughter of John Stevens, a founder of the J&E Stevens Toy Factory. Her father, Joseph Waters, came from New York, where he had experience in the hardware business. He came to work in Cromwell at the Stevens factory and wound up marrying Sarah, the boss's daughter. He died in a carriage accident when Mary was only three weeks old. Mary was an independent woman for the time. She was single her entire life and supported herself, her mother, and other relatives as needed. Her goal was never to become a burden to anyone. She graduated from Columbia University's Teachers College and was an educator for most of her life. She taught in Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Pennsylvania and traveled abroad very often. Mary began writing poetry as a teenager, but it wasn't until she was 88 years old and after a close friend left her some money that Mary decided to publish some of her poetry. The Cromwell Belden Public Library owns two copies of that book. They are contained within the Elizabeth Maselli History Room collection. The publisher suggested the title Poems and placed that name on the cover, but Mary felt her little book of poetry was not serious enough to compete with great poets and preferred the title Sense and Nonsense. This is the title that is found on the title page. The first poem in the collection is Swan Boat. Come, let us make a voyage, not on the wide blue sea, for though the water's very deep, there isn't much to see. But let us take a swan boat, and on the pond sail out, for there are children playing near, and flowers and birds about. The captain is a sailor man, as nice as nice can be. The travelers, mostly children, about the size of me. We go so very slowly, there's not a thing we miss. The bridge, the boats, the baby swan, you surely would like this. It takes one quite a long time, 10 minutes full, I guess, to make the voyage all around, but wh who would have it less? When back to land we come again, I step ashore and sigh, and wish the fun had just begun instead of just gone by. So let me tell you truly, for pleasant sights and sounds, don't sail across an ocean, just try the pond in town. Mary said in an article written in 1957 in the New Haven Register that she always wrote for her own satisfaction and wrote simple poems to express her moods and feelings. She died in New Haven on October 22, 1959. It would have been fitting for the last poem in her book to be on her tombstone, but instead the family monument where she was buried in Hillside Cemetery, Eastside, simply contains her birth and death dates.